Hi, my name is Michael Deiter. I'm with the Community Data Program, and I'm going to show you today how to use the CCHS public use microdata file. It's not very clear how to use it, I'd say, from the documentation, so I'm just going to run through very quickly on this recording how you can build your own IVT table with the dimensions, variables, and data that you want. So this is what you'll see after you've extracted the data from the zip file. You'll get a folder with uh, a bunch of subfolders with uh, data and documentation in it. I'm going to show you in this video just how to use, how to create a table, an IVT table. There's other options that you can use uh, if you just want to import all of the data as text and uh, use another another software for manipulating the data. But we're just going to look at creating a Beyond 2020 IVT table here. Uh, the first thing to do is to make sure that the, the file is unzipped and uh, you can go into the EXTR 2020 folder, pick the year that you're interested in, and then you want to open this file, hs.ivx. You'll see there's a bunch of other files that this file will call in order to uh, create the table that you want. But this is the table that you need to open. And so we've clicked on it to open. And you'll see, first thing that you see is a blank table in Beyond 2020. And on the side here are listed all of the dimensions that you can load into this table. And they are coded. So you will need to open up your documentation. And you can go uh, either look at the record layout or the topical index to see what dimensions that you may want to put into your table. So say I would, I'm interested in data at the health region or province, and then I can scroll down to geog. And here they are. So this is uh, the data by health region. This is by province. And so I will click on this and drag it into the table. And nothing appears because nothing's been loaded in yet. This dimension I will put up at the top, storage for later. And say I'm interested as well in, uh, uh, you know, sense of belonging to local community. So that'd be Gen 10. Take that, put it here. We can also cross this with uh, immigrant status. So STC and length of time in Canada since immigration. So STC FIMM. We'll scroll down. To insert immigrant status, I'm just going to stick that dimension up at the top here. And uh, length of time, uh, GRES. It's here, length of time in Canada. Uh, and so now I've loaded the dimensions that I'm interested in into the table. The next step is to simply load the data in. And that was that traffic light you saw up at the top there. So now I've created my table. I can take this and save it. Uh, here you can pick your file name, uh, extract. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to 
uh, navigate the directories in Beyond 2020, I usually recommend just going to the top most directory and then scrolling down until you find the name of your computer. Uh, for me, it's Michael Deiter Documents, continue as such. You can save this as an Excel worksheet or a comma separated file, but then it's only going to save this it's only going to save this flat file here. It will only save these two dimensions. But if you want to take this file out and work with it as an IVT fit, if you want to work with all the dimensions, then you have to save it as an IVT file. Uh, and I'll just save it like that. Table saved successfully. And now you can go to work on it playing with dimensions of interest, uh, you, again, you'll probably need to have the documentation on hand sometimes in order for you to be able to interpret the variables in each dimension. This is immigrant status, yes, no, not applicable, how long have uh, they've been here, zero to nine years, ten or more years. Um, all right, uh, I'm going to wrap that up just to keep this video short. I hope that uh, this has been helpful in using the CCHS public use microdata file. If you have any questions, you can always write us at information at communitydata.ca. Thanks.